off, I can't let go I'm feeling higher than the most high All eyes on us when we roll I'm your queen, you my hero Where my west side girls at? Where y'all? Where my east side riders at? Where they at? Where my south side gets is at? Where they at? Where my east side riders at? What's up, y'all? Global Street Wave. This is like, what, episode 13 at the Morris Media Studios. And I got to first definitely give my shots out to Morris Media Studios, the Porters, and Mr. Morris. Thank y'all for the platform. And uh, this is Screaming Bossy, a.k.a. Carlene, coming back at you again with my man, and my ride or die, my sidekick over here, Brian yeah. Williams. Yeah. I forgot, we're supposed to be going live on Facebook. So when we take a break, I'm going to get pulled as my information to log us in. Brian, okay. forgot, man. Facebook uh, got to watch us. Yeah. So today, you guys, we have an awesome show. I have a lovely sister up in here, our live guest for today. Her name is Kim. Kim Price, right, Kim? Right. Okay, Price, making them flyers. I better know. I'm the one made the flyer, <laughs> put her name on it. That's so right. Kim Price, the sister, is a, lu a lupus survivor. Mm -hmm. So it won't be no bossies, boobies, and all that crazy stuff today. You know, we're going to keep it a little more toned down because we got mature people here that's watching and viewers. And I know y'all don't want to always see me acting a fool. Y'all want to really hear people's stories. So I have a sister with, uh, you know, letting us know about the different things that she's experienced with being a lupus survivor. She's also wrote a column in this book. So she'll be able to let you know about that later. And also I have to give a big salute to Viana. Viana. Viana, I said it Viana. right, like yeah, Viana, Viana sausage. Gotta be yeah. saying Viona, okay. messing up people. I got it right, Viana. Viana uh -huh. was supposed to be here. It was a little miscommunication. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try to still get Viana up in the building because she's also a lupus survivor. These sisters are entrepreneur sisters. They out here in the communities, leaders doing a lot of great things. And uh, we also have a live call-in guest. Her name is Minister Renee Johnson. She okay. is from. Rayville, Louisiana, but she lives in Mississippi, Oxford, Mississippi. Okay. And she has a book, Brian. It's called Royalty. Royalty, okay. That's how he sees me. Right. Beautiful sister, you and know. That sounds good. Yeah, she's married her and her husband and all that good stuff. So they've got a nice book. They built a kingdom for the Lord. So shouts out to all my Christian faith people because this lady here, if anybody's watching with the Christian faith, I know for sure you will be touched, motivated, and inspired today because mm -hmm. she has a purpose and a reason why she's written this book. So a lot of people don't know their gifts. They don't realize how loyal and royal they are. That's true. We come from, you know, the Egyptian people be like, we're the royal bloodline. The Christians be like, we come from the royal king. Christ, Jesus, you know, it's everybody yeah. got, everybody know they royal no matter what the religion is. That's real. You feel That's me? That's real. Yeah. You feel the Caucasians thought they was royal. Okay. Okay, we're going to keep it clean, Brian. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, we have a lovely, lovely yeah. show today. And again, uh, this lovely lady will be in here. I'm going to give y'all a little bit of news. Okay. You know, just to the, the crazy talk, I'm going to give y'all mm -hmm. some real talk, do a little entertainment news and all that good stuff. But um, off top, I want to definitely do a quick moment of silence. Sure. And that was Della Reese. Okay, we lost Della Reese. I didn't put her picture up on this one. I got some other stuff for, yeah. uh, her to put up with the news. But Della Reese, you know, she passed away. Oh, okay. I'm going to watch it on a Red Fox. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. She passed. So I just want to, you know, mention that real quick. Okay. And what I've been doing, you guys, I've been promoting my on and on song. So what I'm going to do, I want y'all to go to, not iTunes to buy it. I want you to stream it, stream it, stream it on Spotify and iHeartRadio. I shouldn't say don't buy it on iTunes, right? Well, yeah, go buy it for 99 cents, right? But if you stream it. And you stream it and you put it on repeat, I'm going to get more than 99 cents. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I'm going to look out for you. When I'm on my vacation, I'm going to like your picture. When you, I'm going to uh, like your like on my Instagram when I'm on vacation in the Bahamas. Off of y'all. No, I'm just playing y'all. <laughs> I got to be funny still somehow, right? But anyways, real talk, y'all. On and on and on and on is produced by Poetic Beats. Mm -hmm. Thanks to DJ Kit Kat when I worked with him, I was able to get that beat. So you guys, On and On is on Spotify, Our Heart Radio, YouTube. Y'all check it out. On and On. Screaming Bossy. Cause you with the next chick trying to play food But you didn't know that my homegirl sing you 
Then I get that call on my G2. Baby, your lies is all see-through. Oh, you about to get shot like a single. Because I'm on a mission for the stars. And oh, the pain that I feel is ammunition and these bars. And you? You just on a mission for yourself. And, and me? I just play the hands that I was dealt with. And you? You don't know how to deal with your emotions. Oh, and and nah. I just say exactly how I feel. Oh, and you don't know how to swallow your pride. Step it up, step and it up. I'm about to step to the side. On and on. Now you call me, and now you wanna tell me that you're sorry, and you miss me, and you want me, but you will say anything to charm me. So I really gotta know you mean it, and that you're thinking with your heart and not your penis. No matter what we go through, you know that you are the one that my dream is. And like baby, you just want one more chance, and I just really want romance. And we gon' have to go make plans. Fuck it, I guess it's one more dance. Then let's get it done. You just want one more chance, and I just really want romance. And we gon' have to go make plans. Fuck it, I guess it's one more dance. But let's get it done. On and on and on. We keep going back and forth, and we keep arguing. So what you gon' do? On and on and on. You accuse me of cheating, but I still. On and on. Go get that. That's for people in their relationships. I made a relatable song, y'all. You can still get turned up. You can still get lit. You can cha-cha, drink, whatever you want to do to it. But this was for the people who's going through relationships. The song said enough. I don't got to explain it. Go and stream it right now. Spotify, you know, Heart Radio and everywhere else. Just Google it. Mm -hmm. Let's welcome our lovely guest, Ryan. All right. We have Kim Price in the building, y'all. Kim Price has a column in this book, Survival no, you say it, you say it, because I was confused the way this was the title. All right, it's called Survival. Oh, okay. Living Life by Design. Okay, just how I saw it. I'm like, okay. is it Living Life by Design, Survival Design? Okay, y'all can't see that, so anyways. Okay, I'm going to make sure I didn't mess it up. Now, <laughs> this right. book, okay, off top, we're getting straight into it. Okay. Deanna, call us. If anybody want to call in, uh-oh. 323-293-3375. Let's put our headphones on, y'all. We got to call it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for calling Global Street Wave Caller. Let us know your name and where you're calling from. This is Renee Johnson uh, calling from Lafayette, Louisiana. How's it going, boss? Yes, yes. Hey. Welcome. Now, she was our call in, but we threw you up here first. Renee, well, you was before Kim. So I need y'all fighting okay. on the seat. No, I'm just teasing y'all. <laughs> I got to be clean, you know, Renee. You, I don't know if you watch my previous shows, girl. Okay. God, using you. All, all, is, all is well. All you know? is well. So anyways, you guys, let's welcome now our live calling guest. Her name is Minister Renee Johnson. Okay. okay. Also another sister with a book. Okay, and yes. it's different. So yes. we're going to get back, viewers, to our queen, Kim Price. Right. And right now we're going to get into our live caller. So introduce again to the world who you are again. I am Renee Minor Johnson. Um, I am an ordained minister. I'm a mother. I'm a wife. I'm a grandma. Um, I'm a sister. And um, I have just uh, released my second book, Royalty. That's how he sees me. And y'all can go get that right now on Amazon. And yeah. let us let us know a little bit about um, the book. What is it about? Royalty is a book. Um, it's inspirational. It's enlightening. Um, it's a book about knowing who we are in Christ Amen. and seeing ourselves from the um, perception or from the vision of how God sees us yes. okay. and how we were created. Yes. And uh, so many times we get entangled in things in life because we don't really know who we are. Right. Um, so we settle for less than God intended. Amen. Now don't and, you make me um, shout. 
So uh, our true identity is definitely connected to our divine destiny. Yes. Uh, when we know who we are, we know what we should be doing. We know where we should be going. Okay. And um, so that is the origin of the book. Uh, I share my testimony of the uh, experiences that I've gone through in life. Okay. Um, out of out of being in a place of not knowing who I was and trying to fit in and trying to be what I thought others wanted me to be or what what I saw from the world's point of view. Yes. And um, when I came back to who I was and who God created me to be, because I was created in His image. And mm-hmm. so, if I'm created in the image of a king, then I must be royalty. Okay. And so, I have to make sure that I uh, carry myself in that, and I understand that, and I stay connected to His Word and and allow him to guide me and give me the instruction and direction on the things that I should be doing in life. Yes, and we do need that guidance because that's where it comes from. They say, I learned um, growing up in uh, the Christian, now I ain't going to say religion, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. people used to tell me, don't pray to God, but nothing but guidance. We can ask for all this stuff, just pray for guidance. So it's definitely great. Well, this is my co-host, Brian, my sidekick over here, my ride or die. How's it going, Brian? I'm good. How you doing? I'm, I'm from Louisiana I'm myself. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, from where? I'm, yeah, I'm from Sweetport, Louisiana. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So you know how it is in Louisiana. We love good food. That's right. And, and good music. Well, I need to come down there so I can gain me some pounds then. <laughs> for real. For real. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, we, we, yeah. We, can, we can make that happen. That's right. Okay. Now, what would you like to say to this lovely sister on the phone? Well, can you give us like a like maybe just a short synopsis of the hard part of your life that you may have went through to get to where you at now? Okay. Um, my, I'll, I'll share this. My father, uh, who has gone to be with the Lord, um, he was my pastor, okay. he was my daddy, and he was my assistant principal. Okay. And so I grew up in a kind of strict uh, uh, um, raising and, and that. Well, when I got to college, I got pregnant at 18. Oh, okay. And so, yeah, so I went through the, um, the ridicule, the low self-esteem, the feeling like I had you know, uh, disgraced everybody, um, hiding behind that, and literally didn't didn't know how I was going to move forward and for a long time didn't want to move forward, didn't want to live. I see what you're saying. Um, and so that, going through that journey, um, uh, it helped me to, to grow in some ways, and it took me a while to get a, a real understanding of just because uh, of what I had gone through and what I had done, it didn't cause me, it didn't, Stop God from loving me. That's right. That's right. That never stops. Right. right. Absolutely. It didn't stop my parents, but it was my perception. Mm -hmm. It was my skewed um, vision of how I saw myself. I see. And so that's where I get. uh, You know, I had to learn to to follow how God sees me, and and I can only do that by getting in the Word. You know. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah. That that, I called that word uh, my manufacturer's manual. He manufactured me, and so he has a manual. So that's chapter one of my book, Manufacturer's Manual. Oh, I like that. Now, I I wanted to ask something right quick. What advice do you have for other writers? Oh, God, for other writers. You know, some people ask me, is it hard to write a book? And my answer is, it's worth it. It's worth it if you have a story that will change a life. Mm -hmm. It's worth it. Um, Anytime God gives us a gift and he inspires us, he never takes that gift away. And so we, we need to use it. And so if you have the gift of writing, every time he downloads something something to you, put it in writing. Put it on your phone. Keep put it on your iPad. Yes. And, and connect all those notes. But yes. somebody needs to hear the, the, the things that he's placed inside of us. We can't be everywhere, but we can send a, 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 a word anywhere. And yes. I'm right. in Louisiana, and you guys are in Los Angeles, and here I am sharing my testimony yes. okay. and, and the gift that God has placed within me. So right. I encourage every writer to write, 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 write. Just write it down and never think that your story is not important because yes, exactly. somebody somewhere um, can hear your testimony yes, and they, they can, can overcome their situation. Yes, they can. And I love okay. it today because I have a... You are, can be great inspiration. This young lady here, Kim Price, is sitting with us. She's a live guest we have. She has okay. a column in a book. So okay. she's, of course, going to be working on her own books and all that good stuff. So it's just great. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Even though she's in Louisiana, I don't care about people being friends with my Facebook friends. I want you to inbox Absolutely. her. Absolutely. And I won't, Absolutely. I'm telling I'm talking to Kim. I'm pointing to Kim over there. Kim, you're going to inbox me and be like, hey, queen, it was great yeah. meeting you. And I want us to connect because it's things y'all can learn. Exactly. Okay. I'm yeah, gonna, that's I just put me together with y'all. I ain't wrote a book yet. I want to write a book about the porch of my granny. Maybe y'all yeah. can write that for me and do something. I don't know. But you two make sure you connect. 
We will. You know, we will. Definitely. Absolutely. Right. And Brian, you got Definitely. something you want to uh, ask her before we let her kind of just say whatever else you want to say real quick to the people? Yeah, sure. Uh, do you view writing as a kind of spiritual practice? Yes, she do. She's 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 kingdom of God. Kingdom of God. The kingdom right. builders. Hold on. Okay. He all right. Yeah. He all right. I'm gonna <laughs> help him out. Because okay. he died and make him research you. Tell yeah. us about the kingdom builders. Is that kind of related to yeah. his question? Yes, kingdom builders. See, I got wow. your back. There you go. The, cha the champions, <laughs> champions within kingdom builders. The champion within is Christ in us, okay? Greater is he that's within us than he that's in the world. Well, so that's the right. champion. There you go. And so my husband and I, when he retired from the Army, uh, I shout out to my husband. He's a retired uh, Army Ranger and Green Beret. Shout out, so, Mr. Okay. Johnson, Mr. Uh, Johnson. Yeah, uh. yeah. So um, when we retired from the Army, um, he wanted to share his experiences and really help um, to lift up our young men. And he started in juvenile prisons. Mm -hmm. And um, we took that from juvenile prisons to school systems, teaching leadership, character, ed character education, accountability, and things of that, that nature. Um, go even going into self-esteem and, and um, respect and honor. And so we've taken that from North Carolina to Tennessee to Mississippi to Arkansas and now wow. Louisiana. That is uh, awesome. That's real, yeah. That's a that's a good right question, there. Ron. Yeah. Yeah. Ron. Yeah. I knew she already. The book is spiritual. Not like that, but anybody can write a book about it. It's not a, a novel, love novel. Yeah. So the book yeah. is spiritual itself, but I wanted to... I remember I had my notes, so right. she was able yeah. to bring it up. So cool. you're on point, yeah. Brian. Cool. Now, is there <laughs> anything else that you want to let the viewers know as far as any movement you got going on, where mm -hmm. they can, if you got some whatever going on, I don't know. Let the world know where they can find you at. Not well, yet get the book because I ain't getting, you know, I ain't closing you out totally at this moment. Mm -hmm. But I want to give you a little more time to be able to address to the world what is on your heart. What do you want to say that we have not addressed with a question right now? Well, basically, my, I, I want people to know that the book is a message of hope. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it, there's, a, there's a, a, a quote, and it's a, a biblical quote that says, a tree can, can have dead roots, but with a scent of water, hmm. a scent now, a mm -hmm. scent of water can cause growth and okay. cause it to sprout up. If I can use the book to give a scent of hope, mm -hmm. that somebody that was thinking they were too old to go forward, or they hmm. were too too black to go forward or too white to go forward or or, 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 or a woman and they couldn't go forward or a man. If I could give that sense of hope of letting them know that they were created with a purpose right. and before they were a person, they had a purpose. Yes. Right. And so that they, if they would just move toward that, I mean, amazing things would happen. And I'm yes. seeing that happen in my own life of, of almost thinking, well, it's too old to do this and it's too old to do that. And I've been doing spoken word. My nephew has yes. me doing things like that. And all mm. of it is to bring God glory, to yes. make his name famous. Mm. Um, use every gift. Uh, God's gifts are without repentance. So he doesn't take them back. And so he intends for us to use every last one of them before we leave this earth. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I encourage everybody to do that. Uh, let's, let's leave here on empty, giving That's everything right. that we have uh, to help our brothers and sisters. Uh, everywhere we go, Amen. and yes. so uh, I, I've, I've, I'm doing different book signings in this local area, um, different radio interviews, just putting it out there. I'm on social media, um, and I'm available. If y'all know anybody that wants to, to to reach out for me to do even more of this, um, the more I can inspire people to be all God created them to be, that just makes my life a whole lot better. All right, that's, that's nice. nice. We, yeah. we definitely, I'm supposed to be going live on Facebook. I ain't sent pull just the uh -huh. email or nothing, y'all. Yeah. Uh, like, we're supposed to be live, but that's okay, because I'm going to pull it right from the YouTube when they put it up there, and yeah. it'll still be okay. up there. Right. But yeah, okay. you'll be able to see the shows and all that. But I definitely appreciate you calling in. And let's push this book one more time. And let's tell yeah. people again, this title of this book, if okay. uh, Portis can put the flyer up with you on it, let's let them get a vision of it. And let's, let's tell them where they can go purchase this book at. Royalty, that is how he sees us. Um, you can go on Amazon.com as well as BarnesandNobles.com to purchase the book. Um, it is life-changing. It is life-changing. It is life-changing. I'll say that over and over again. Uh, there have been women who, who have uh, responded and said they're starting Bible studies and oh, things wow. of that nature. And so just go out and get the book, and let's change lives. Let's be all that we were created to be. Never settling for less than God intended. Yes. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And you know yes. what? Right yes. quick. Yes. Right quick. Since yes. we're on the phone, why yes. not? You're a minister. Say a quick, quick, quick prayer for us right now. 
Sounds I good. sure will. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this opportunity of bringing us together. Lord, you said in your word that iron sharpens iron, so allow us to help sharpen each other, yes. to pull out every gift Amen. that you've placed in us, that we will change the world and make your name famous. All of these things we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. I've been talking about iron sharpening iron. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Queen, right. so you much. You're so welcome. When yeah. you come out with a new another book now, you better hit me up on my phone, I Facebook. Will. Okay. I definitely will. All right, let's stay in touch. Okay, take right. care of that. Okay. All uh-huh. right. Thank you for calling in. Thank you. All right, All right. All right. Now, I know y'all been touched and been healed. Y'all yeah. better be healed. I don't yeah. care what y'all. If you're a Muslim today, I bet you what. You better still got something out of that. Mm-hmm. You're a Buddhist. You're a Jehovah Witness. Guess what? We all believe in the same God. Mm-hmm. So let's sharpen each other. You know what I'm saying? I mm-hmm. think Jehovah Witnesses knock on my door. I see the Muslim brothers. I talk to everybody because yeah. I still learn something. That's right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Some That's true. Still do. Mm-hmm. So anyways, let's get back to Kim, man. Because mm-hmm. I want to talk about world news and stuff yeah. and all this stuff. Hold on. Before we come back to you, mm-hmm. we got to mention this right quick. Sure. I'm going to do some little news stuff right quick. Y'all got to do something a little different since we ain't talking about bosses and all these other crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. So right quick, y'all, for health news, I want to give y'all a little bit of health news. Okay. Okay. Now, in health news, very simple and very easy. Y'all can go look it up yourself. I was on CNN.com, and Jesse Jackson was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease said mm-hmm. Friday mm-hmm. by the Jackson's family. So he noticed changes about three years ago and all that stuff. So, mm-hmm. you know, we sent out our prayers since we was at the sister on there praying right. for Amen. Jesse Jackson. God, you know, help him mm-hmm. out with whatever's going on with him. If anybody want to read more up on that, my resources will CNN.com. <laughs> and for world news, CNN.com again. Guess what, y'all? <laughs> All right. Charles Manson died in prison. Uh oh. At the that, age of that's eighty-three. Mass murder, dude. That mass murdering devil right. is finally gone. What? Took him long enough. Took him long enough, right? He died in prison, so we don't elaborate on him too much. I uh, gave Paul his pictures, and I was like, I'm going to put that man picture up on my shoulder. (laughs) So, yeah, anyways, you know what? I didn't know, though. I will mention this. He was rejected by Hollywood. Now, I watched his story, but I guess I wasn't paying attention. I was going to be looking at the killings. He was rejected by Hollywood, Uh and that's what kicked off the brutal quest for revenge that resulted in the murders of nine people, including Sharon Tate, and some other people. Mm-hmm. And um, they're going to be airing his story at 7 p.m. on the reels. Mm. Mm. R-E-E-L-Z. Yeah, y'all. So he gone. Bye-bye. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Charles Manson. He got them little people in jail. And hopefully they don't. Whatever. We ain't talking about that. We're going yeah. to education news now. There Something positive. Right. 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 Education news. Expert says gaining work experience is one of the best ways for grad school hopefuls with law I'm sorry, with low college GPAs to improve their admission profile. So gaining some work experience and whatever you're trying to do with your education will uh-huh. help you with your low GPAs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, entertainment news, y'all, we're going to keep it going. YouTube is going into biz with LeBron James. So basically, there's a docuseries uh, called Best Shot from James, Spring Hill Entertainment, Boardwalk Pictures, Blue Ribbon, all y'all ain't paying me to say all that. Anyway, these people will be doing something on YouTube with LeBron James. So salute LeBron James. Yeah, salute. Right. With uh, that, and it's going to be with some high school students, uh, a former NBA player and ESPN analyst, Jay Williams, will definitely be working with them and the uh, uh-huh. team uh, helping them reach the goals. The team is going to be working on that. So okay. I wanted to mention that right quick, and I think I skipped something. Okay. We're going to do your words from the wise next. Okay. Before we go, because sure. we still got a good 30 minutes, B. All right. Uh, Jesse Jackson, yep, I'll let y'all know that. Okay, I think I'll let y'all know all my little news. Oh, yeah, I'll let y'all know my news. Okay. Oh, okay. and wait, quick sports news. Okay. What's, What's up? Yeah, I'm a woman. I like sports. What's <laughs> up with them Lakers, though? Uh, Where my real Laker fans at? Like, my grandma used to take me to the forum. What y'all know about that? Y'all just be jump riding mm-hmm. on everybody's team. Whoever popping on the social media and winning all the games, y'all they friends, I guess. Mm-hmm. But just so y'all know, for all my Laker fans, Lakers will be playing the Chicago Bulls tonight at 730. Make sure you tune in to Channel 9. Mm-hmm. I want to get some money from them. I'm not promoting the Lakers, <laughs> man. And the Clippers, they played yesterday uh, to the Knicks. Okay. And they lost 107-85. to 85. Mm. The L.A. Rams versus the Saints will be Sunday at home. Go Rams! They'll be playing at the uh, Coliseum. Uh. And the Chargers versus the Cowboys on Thanksgiving Day will be playing. Okay. You going to watch that stuff, Ron? Sometime. I know that's why you ain't. That's why he ain't just almost said a bad word. No, but actually, I didn't almost say a bad word. That's why he ain't reading the news. He ain't giving me the news because he ain't been watching the news. I'm just playing, bro. But I bet you, I know what you do got. I got my news is in the street. No, I know. No, you got some old news. That words from the wild. Yeah, I'm, I'm kicking that real knowledge. So what we about to do, B? 
Let's get into your, let me put my little notes up. I just, my other note paper, that's going to be for you right here. I had notes, I almost forgot. Sure. So we're going to do our words from the wise. I'm trying to get us out the way okay. so we can vibe with Kim for the rest of the show. And we still got 30 minutes, so we good. Okay. I don't have to keep you how much time we got. But right. right now, you guys, open up your heart, your ears, your minds, unwind. It is Brian Williams time with the words from the wise. All right. Uh, how y'all doing today? Brian Williams with words from the wise. My word for today is life. And, you know, everybody can relate to life. So this the book right here we got about life, you know, the lady that called in is about life. Yes. So it all fit in right in the spot right That's here. That's how you in sync, baby. That's why you're here. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, here we go. Life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. The purpose of life is to help others. So when you help others, it will make you a better person. For all your failures, you can succeed. One thought, one nation, one move in a positive direction can make a difference in your life. Mm -hmm. Keep your circle around you positive and don't let the negative influences around you destroy your happiness. Mm -hmm. When things aren't going your way, just think and focus on what you can do to change that. Life is full of ups and downs, tears and frustrations, and sometimes bitterness. But life is precious and can be full of happiness and joy just by starting the day with a smile and being thankful for what you got. So don't give up on life. Live your life to the fullest. Live for a brighter day. I'm Brian Williams with the words from the wise. That's right, Brian. Mm -hmm. And I, I did have my little word of the day. Yeah. And it was basically being consistent. Just stay consistent, you guys, at whatever you do. Okay. And as my sister said on the phone, you know, it's been a very spiritual day up in here. Right. And we ain't even got to the other sister, the lupus survivor up in here, Kim. We don't yeah. know. You know, I'm, I'm going right. to shut the Holy Ghost shot up in here. Okay. Like, I'm at Noah Jones <laughs> Church or something. Okay. No, but real talk, you guys, consistency, consistent. That right. was my word of the day. Okay. So whatever you're doing, stay consistent. A lot of us have poor management skills for ourselves. Mm -hmm. A lot of us have poor management and people who call themselves helping us with our careers. A lot of us go about the wrong ways to do things to get to where we're going. True. Just be consistent with being real with who you are first. You feel me? Okay. And God, universe, Jesus, Buddha, Allah, whoever you believe in, will lead you and guide you in the right path. There which is go. what That's she right. mentioned with guidance. So right. my whole thing was what you said, stay positive, get mm. around right people, right. but stay consistent in what you do. Never get discouraged from yourself. There you go. All right? Right. Because if you can discourage yourself, it's going to be way easier for other people. So if That's you true. can't beat you down, don't let nobody else do it. Cause you know, that's we are true. our worst critics. We are our worst enemy. We can that's just right. be hard on ourselves more than anybody. So that's enough of that, y'all. Consist consistency. Stay consistent. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is keep the show going, and then we can stay consistent and uh, on point. So we did our new stuff, mm -hmm. our words from the wise. Right. Now let's get over here to our guest that just been so patiently waiting for us to do her thing. Now let's welcome again Miss Kim Price. All right. How you doing, Kim? Thank you. Welcome you back, Queen. Now let's get yeah. back to you. Now, um... I had did me some research because okay. I wanted to spill my stuff before I started letting her talk. Right. 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 So what I did was some research, and me and these papers and stuff, I feel like I'm on the news. Okay, about lupus. Lupus is a disease that is caused by something going wrong with the immune system. It's the part of the body that fights off invaders such as viruses, bacteria, and other germs. Typically, B cells in our immune system produce protein called antibodies that protect the body from these invaders. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to know more about lupus and all of that good stuff, right. I advise you to do that. You never know who in your family has it or what friends you come around. And the more information we know, if you don't stay ready, you ain't got to get ready and you might can help somebody with it. I didn't want to have a guest on the show and I not really go look up what lupus was about. Right. So I just wanted to read about it. Now, I'm going to mention a couple of more things before we get into her. African American women tend to develop lupus at a younger age and have more several symptoms than white women. Okay. Did you know that, Brian? That's true. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. that, right? So that's all right. I want to say because that's what you're here for. So right. what I want to do, let's go to this book first right quick. Okay. Now, let's give another mm -hmm. good introduction. And we got to say salutes to Dr. Beverly Crockett and friends because exactly. Miss Beverly Crockett, did I say her name right? Yes, she did. She's the, uh, so, okay. You can introduce it even greater to me. So like I was talking to you before the show started. <laughs> right. And I was like, you're going to say that right there, Kim. So I need you to say that right there. So now, Kim, break down this book. She got a column up in here. Okay. And shouts out to Makeup by Luar while making all these ugly faces with this pretty makeup on. Okay. Thank you, Luar. So yeah. anyway, uh, y'all know Bossy going to fill herself in the middle of the guest uh, somehow. So let us know, Queen, about mm -hmm. your column in this book. And explain to us how this book went about, about the number of the women okay. and all that good stuff. 
Okay, well, Dr. Beverly Crockett approached, it's 19 of us in this book, mm -hmm. and one man. Awesome, okay, I'll be so leaving a man, man out, yes. okay. okay. One, young man, one young man in here, and so basically it's a book about survival. Okay. Everyone has to survive something. Yes. Right. Okay, everyone has a story in here. Yes. So we all got together, and she got us together to oh, collaborate okay. on, you know, it's people out there, it's called an anthology. Okay. You know, it's people out there that you don't know what someone is going through. That's true. We, what is an anthology? Anthology is the book, is, this book. The book it's of, a book of stories. Oh, there you go. Just in a case y'all don't know stories. what anthology was. Yes, because okay. someone else that's, asked me that. They said, oh, that's what that's called. Yes. Uh -huh. It's okay. a book of stories okay. that you get together and, you know, put it in a book. Okay. And sell the book. Okay. So instead of us writing 19 books, we wrote Solid a story. Yeah. Everybody has a story in here. Okay. Wow. And my story is about surviving lupus. Okay. I was diagnosed in May of 2013. Okay. And the uh -huh. it's true. I'm listening. I'm sharing our Facebook live. Okay. Keep going. That's I'm fine. Sure. So I was diagnosed in May of 2013. Oh, okay. My symptoms, I had no idea. Okay. I was wow. just tired. Uh -huh. My son and my daughter kept saying, go to the hospital. I'm like, no, you know how we are. Right, right. We're right. like the energized bunny. We yes. just keep it going moving and, going. Yep. and never stop. So finally I did. To okay. make a long story short, I did. Okay. And when I got there, my blood pressure was 220 over 100. Whoa. So we all high. know that's comatose. Yeah, Whoa. definitely. And you can't even tell. Wow. No, I was just tired. What's your birthday sign? I'm a Pisces. Oh, I'm a Leo. Y'all hyper as me. Leo, Pisces, <laughs> y'all. The women, I love y'all, but the men, we be arguing for nothing. But keep going. But so, you have a lot of energy. Pisces yes. are energetic. Not so, at the time. So, of course, right? I didn't want to stop. I just wanted to keep going. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so I did. Okay. And when I made it to the hospital, it they ended up inducing me and making me stay. Oh, wow. Mm. So hours later, th 13 days I ended up being in there. Okay. Mm. And I was diagnosed. They took a biopsy. Right. So mm -hmm. of the kidney. Oh, okay. And came back and told me I had lupus. Wow. Oh, okay. now, of course, I had never heard of lupus. Right. Wow. So I was like, okay, so how we get rid of it? Right. right? What do I take? No yeah. cure. You know, I got a question for you now. Okay. Were you feeling really sick before that time when you found that you got it, like like up to your leading years? She you was, know? I was... She was running the streets with her right. thugs. I'm yeah. just playing. Why does that be funny? Why does that be funny? I, you know. yeah, I know, but no. Because it was just normal to be tired to me. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, yeah, that's what she was saying, right. just being just tired. Normal. Right. So, no, I just yeah. was like, okay, can I take an aspirin? Because that's what I intended to do, because we stopped at the store before we made it to the ER. Okay. okay. So, I'm just going to take an aspirin, so by the time okay. I get there, this will be over with. Right. But so, what do you do now to, like, help? Like, what, what are your symptoms, number one? What My type of symptoms, things do you go through? Mm -hmm. Well, right now, I was diagnosed with, I have stage four kidney failure. Oh, and mm -hmm. I got I one no kidney. Girl, just yeah, for being neglected. I yeah. don't need no dialysis or nothing. Girl, keep going. Like so I have stage 4 going. kidney failure, but no dialysis. Okay, okay, I awesome. have congestive heart failure, you but I don't like have that? any uh, machines and nothing that I have to have. Okay. Yeah. I have fibromyalgia. Fi fibromyalgia. Uh -huh. okay. I have psoriasis of the skin. Okay. And then I just started suffering from migraines. I'm all looking oh, at her okay, stuff yeah, now, looking at her skin. I'm like, I don't see nothing wrong with your skin. Right. She lying about her lupus. She <laughs> want us to feel sorry. Okay. Oh, just man. Okay. She look good. Don't look like nothing good. wrong with her. You God never know. Right. And God keeps us going. So, Brian, you, go. you had uh, something else you wanted to ask the sister? You know, okay. I always toss all the questions. Go on, take yeah, over, Brian. Okay. Well, one thing with lupus and stuff, you know, is there like support groups that you, you know, reach out with to help you support you with it you know? there are support groups you can find them on facebook um i'm from kansas city okay. so okay. one of my support groups Shout i'm in kansas is city. in kansas city okay um and there's support groups everywhere you know right. you can get online you got the lupus org foundation mm -hmm. you can you know the la lupus foundation you got different foundations that you can go on to to help you they are have you a walks. part of any of them that right. the lupus you? uh foundation la lupus foundation that's okay. who helps you and support then, you and then Purple Rose Foundation. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. I found her on Facebook because yeah. I was at a down point wow. okay. and tried to kill myself. Oh, oh wow. I need that phone alone. So wow. I tried to commit suicide. Yeah. I was. What at, year was that? Uh, two. It's been two years now. Oh, recently. Wow. Yes. I was taking yourself. forty-five pills a day. What kind of pills Ooh. were you taking? I take chemo pills. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, you saying that you're, because you're yes. taking so many? It's but trash. I felt that since I was taking all those pills, yeah. why not just add more to kill myself? Oh, mm. Because 
I mean, I was in so much pain. Yeah. Lupus, your body's in pain all the time. You know, you're aching. I heard a hello. That might be Viana about to come. Keep going. So, you know, you just need something. Wow. So So I felt like I didn't want to. Let's pause. Let's pause. Okay. Uh. What got you out of that mental state of wanting to commit suicide? What brought you? How did? What what was the? Come on. I have three children. I knew we was gonna say a kid and came in. Mama, what's wrong? Huh. What happened? Well, okay. they're grown. <laughs> okay, okay, Mama, what the heck is wrong? Thirty-three okay. year old, a thirty-one year old, and twenty-two. Girl, you look good. Well, mm. Thank you. Okay, and I'm then I have much. four grand. Four grandchildren. Okay. And so how, how did how did this, you just got saved from not committing suicide? What happened? Hmm. Basically, when I took the pills and went into a deep sleep. Okay. Um, my bestie. Okay. My sister. Okay. My, she, we were like ride or die. Okay. She passed away okay. of lung cancer. Oh. But she came to me in that, in that process. Mm. And I was trying to go with her. Mm-hmm. She said, it ain't time for you to come exactly. on. Exactly. She pushed okay. me off the ship. Be quiet. We were on a cruise she gonna make ship. She going to now. Wow. And when she pushed me off, I can't swim. Me but neither. when she pushed me off, I fell in the water. Wow. Okay. We're going to take a break in a minute when you get through with the story because okay. Viana up in here. Huh. And she on time. What time is it? We cool. still got like, uh, we how got many more? We still got, oh, we still got yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah. So we good. And that's perfect right. in a way because then by the time she finished with her story, yeah. we get Viana up here and give her story. I'm Sounds sorry, good. y'all. Viana made it to the studio. Mm-hmm. So I was over here turned up. And <laughs> I'm glad because she about to uh. make me cry. Okay. So I got to change my energy because y'all know I'm not crying in front of y'all, but mm-hmm. I can't mess up make about Luar. So finish going. She came to you in that dream. Yes. Push told you, uh, no, you. It's no, not time. But to... I begged her, you know, to let me go, and I didn't want to be here no more. And mm. she said, "But no, you have a purpose." Amen. And you do. You right here. She said, "You got a purpose. You have those kids, and you yes. have a story. So yes. if you leave." What are you going to tell people? And how are you going to leave your kids like that? Right. They grown. You didn't care, honey. They, they grown. They can take care of themselves. Right. I'm going to just jump off know, the bridge. I, yeah. I'm just, I don't mean yeah. to make fun of no, it. No, but, but basically, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you was tripping. So I, My son, girl, please. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to go kill the person I'm mad at. I'm myself. <laughs> oh, no, okay. I can't tell myself. But hey, life is good. <laughs> you know what it is? Because right. when I came back, I was having a massive heart attack. Oh, Whoa. Lord. So what did you, so did you, you end up, oh, is that what woke you up out of it? Was the heart, yeah. So that heart attack came probably to wake you up. Yeah. You can come here, Mama Queen. Yeah. Go on and sit down over there. So Bianca, yeah, you good, I, baby. Uh, I'm going to get you up in a minute. Actually, so you asked me how many years ago. That was in 2010. You said two, right? Mm. Yeah, because uh, August, no. Yeah, August 14th. Oh, my birthday, yeah. August 8th. Don't be trying mm-hmm. to kill yourself around by my birthday time. 2014. Yeah. Okay. That, and then I had the massive heart attack. Wow. So, yeah. And did you yeah. have to, it's not like my thing out here. Did you have to go through like some therapy or rehabilitation, rehabilitation I, I for did, this? because you know what, um, when you go through mm-hmm. things like that and you lose everything, yes. Yes, you find out who your friends are. That's true. That's really you find true. out who your real family members are. Yeah. Right. And I had a family member that I thought was just my everything okay. told me that because I lost everything I asked him for help mm-hmm. because I know he could help me right right, right. and his exact words were you're not worth the investment uh. so you know how that set up in me like Whoa. cancer mm-hmm. so I shut down yeah I yes. became homeless uh-huh. I lived in my car wow. I went through all of that because my family thought it was pride but it wasn't pride it was the fact that he took away everything just crushed your whole yes. ego okay. so when somebody want to ask you can I help you like no I'm good uh, right? I got this I see. Right? but I'm in the car at the mall in the daytime yeah. at night I'm in the car and my auntie like clockwork every day <sighs> mm-hmm. you good mm-hmm, I'm good that's right Check okay. it. but I wasn't uh, you but know. you looking good now and yeah, God is good. God. Yeah. Yes. God is good. Yep. So I know you're doing a lot of prayer. Right. Yeah. Like, what's your secret? Not like that because prayer is usually not even the secret, but is it just mm-hmm. a bunch of prayer? Because I'm a prayer warrior. Well, you know what? I'll be it talking is. and cussing to God. <laughs> <laughs> and God right. answers quicker when I cuss at the door. Y'all ain't lying. I'm like, look, universe, you better down here and then write in people's face and then it be answering. Like, damn, you cuss at the universe and then answer like that? Yeah. yeah. So when I cuss yeah. at y'all, don't get mad, but I'm trying to stop cussing. See how good I've been on the show? Okay. <laughs> anyway. But no, uh. it is prayer. And then I had to remember, I was in church one Sunday and I heard a sermon. He said, no matter what you got going on, hmm. get up, get dressed like you're going to work. Come on. Because right. I'm totally disabled. He said, you look You're not good. disabled. Don't claim that. No. Okay. Well. But that's what I know what yes. you mean. Uh-huh. No, I'm not. You're right. So that's all security check. Said, no, I'm just like, <laughs> 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 get up. Look like you're going to work. That's Look right. like you're going to church. Who your bitch Whatever. Yeah. Right. Uh, that don't, was... Don't say no, Jones. I used to go to no, no. I live in Marina Valley. Oh yeah, you said that. Yes, yeah, so well, that was Pastor like... Guesty. Oh, okay. Pastor uh. Guesty, and he he did. Well, salute so to Pastor Guesty for helping yes. get you and up back on your best. That. Yes, yep. that's yep. right. So every day, 
regardless, if I have a cap on or what, I'm still going to look good. Okay. That's right. Because right. I had to remember, I had to fall back in love with me. Yes. There you go. So yes. See, I love me. There you mm-hmm. go. It's not being conceited or vain. No, please. I love uh-uh. me too. I but be, I love me some me. I'm, I feel you. Because mm-hmm, right. I I'm, matter. I'm talking to myself I'm in the mad. mirror and all that. That's now, Brian, exactly. before we get out of here with her, because we got to sure. get Brianna up here now. Yeah. Ask her about the seminars or something that you wanted to ask her about where she'd been speaking at or something. Some speaking engagements. Go on. I'm yeah, telling Brian yeah, what yeah, to ask her. About, yeah, yeah, she pretty much told me that. But yeah, let us know about right. the speaking engagements. Well, I speak, uh, the last two engagements I had were at um, high schools. Okay. okay. Because of trying to commit suicide, you know, there's so many young girls yes. out there. It's true. Because you're fat, you're ugly, you know. No, they, they have think. to remember that right. they are beautiful. Regardless. You're yeah. beautiful within your own no skin. No matter who you mm-hmm. are. Exactly. What? So okay, I had to speak to them at a couple of high schools. Okay. And then thanks to Viana, yes. Lady okay. V, I was able to get on killradio.org. And That's right. Go okay. on there with and now them. you on Global now Street Wave and Morris Media. You know? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. But See, I, I just got a game bag, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but I encourage anyone, yes. if you are going through something, yes. this book right here, not just my story, but everyone's story in there. Yeah. There's different ones. Is Will help you. I mean, there's stories in here about molestation. Yeah, okay. give us a little. What's, what's know, a little more? Tell us um, a couple more. Uh, one of my girls in. What can they buy that at? Right quick. Can they buy that? Actually. And thank you for our book. Uh, yeah. You can go onto my website. Okay. And it's what's your at website? www.kimdeniseprice.com. And Denise okay. is D E N I. S-E. S-E. Okay. Yes. And back to with the book. You said some, something about molestation, which we've all in our family right. been touched by so uncle, daddy, cousin, and brother. Victims have been raped. You know, mm-hmm. um, they have went through some are other kind of chronic illnesses. Yeah. Oh, wow. There's right. so many chronic illnesses that you don't know about. That's true. And I just thank God for Dr. Beverly. That's mm-hmm. right. You know, and I'm going to make sure she published my next book. That's right. Well, right. I thank yeah. God for Cedar Sinai because I was neglecting. I already told that before and I ain't got time to tell my story because Vianna got to tell her story. Okay. But I thank God because mm-hmm. I got my one little kitten in. Uh-huh. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. That's and, a blessing. You know, I'm yeah. just glad that for 17 years I've had one kidney. I ain't, I don't have kidney infections like that or nothing. Mm-hmm. Amen. You know what I'm good. saying? And I'll be good. I'm just now starting, not just now, but I'm drinking more water and stuff. But right. just not to say I'm thankful because there's other people who are really being affected by things. Like That's I could true. still, I could have lost both kidneys from being neglected exactly. with me almost dying and right. been on the machine to this day. That stuff is uncomfortable when people are going through stuff. So right. I was really touched by Viana when she mentioned you mm-hmm. because she was just saying that when she met, she was like, if I don't do nothing, I'm going to make sure I help. This sister, right. and she and has. that's. I, don't know, I feel like I want to cry. Mention and she that. has, okay. and that's when okay. the other sister Renee mentioned yeah. the iron shop and the iron. And it's like, yes. and then I, oh, I love you, know. And she has okay. done a lot. But developed has. a great oh, personal relationship in the last couple of weeks. Me She's and her, done a lot. Right. yes. Yeah. So right. definitely. Now, what we're gonna do, you guys? Shouts out to all my people watching on Facebook Live. I ain't got time. I'm over here pushing invite, looking at. I'm not y'all like she ain't pitching to the guests. No, I'm inviting people to listen to her. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna go to a quick break. Okay, okay. I've been to right. uh, went to Ronnie DeVoe's party because we're gonna bring Viana up here. Okay, so I gotta make sure I get. Poor, there's enough commercials to play. Or, sure. or they just gonna see us setting up. Right. Anyways, you guys, right quick, I want to play two videos. <laughs> Got to warn the poor, so she can be on point. Okay. I went uh, out to Ronnie DeVoe, BBD, New Edition's 50th birthday. Yeah. Awesome. And I got a few drops okay. from a couple people. So I'm going to play that as a commercial. In my other video, I wanted to play Viana to play. I mean, I said Viana to play. The part is to play for us was uh, Makeup by Luar. Okay. So I want to do my Makeup by Luar video, mm-hmm. and I got a video that says Ronnie DeVoe's P-Day party drops. I want to play those couple of videos yeah. and uh, get our other lady up here. I thank you guys so much for tuning in to Global Street Wave at Moore's Media Studios. Y'all continue mm-hmm. watching us and, you know, continue watching us and make a baluar and shout out to Ronnie DeVoe. Happy birthday again. Yeah, shout out. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Hey, Globe 
me give an opportunity to let you know about my new strand, man. It's only a month old. Happy birthday. You know what I'm saying? Uh, funky OG, California. Global stream weed. I like that, Dad. I run the Coalition DJs, man. The ATL, follow me right now. DJ Funky OG, DJ Funky ATL, man. Appreciate you, man. And I got a live show, so we're going to have some Global Street weed, and I'm going to be just having a blunt on that shit. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Laura Padilla, and I'm a makeup artist. And I'm now Bossy's makeup artist. Uh, you can check me out on Instagram at Makeup by Luar. And also, don't forget to check out Global Street Wave Tuesdays from 4 to 5. Peace. Shouts out to Black and Bougie. I got this shirt when I was at the uh, BET experience. I love okay. Bougie. Yeah, gave me that. <clears throat> yeah, so we got my sister Viana in the building, y'all. We got like eight minutes left. I always talking about the time, counting down the time, like I'm the time lady. Yeah. So we want to let her get her message out. <clears throat> okay. She was too busy trying to cook us Thanksgiving dinner mm -hmm. and have Thanksgiving at Morris Media. And she thought the show started at 12 tonight because, you know, I <laughs> was Lady Howard Stern at the dark. Ooh, but I was like, no, nah, I got to go back to the Oprah, the Wendy Williams thing, Steve uh -huh. Harvey, because I can't be acting like that. Uh -huh. But I'm still Lady Pock, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what's up, y'all? Let's give a hand clap. We still have Kim Price in the building. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> We've talked to her already. We got Vianna up in here. Yeah. She's also a lupus survivor. So no okay. more time for me to be talking about myself, loving myself, trying to do all that. I need to let this sister tell us her story. So yeah. off top, introduce yourself, Queen. My name is Vianna Rogers. I'm the CEO of Glamour, <laughs> Glamour Style. What city are you from? I'm from Los Angeles, California, South Central. I didn't ask you. So that's where I'm from. Don't you start yeah. me getting back. <laughs> what, you, what city are you from, Queen? Uh, I didn't ask you, Kim. Marino Valley. Oh, you said Marino yeah, Valley no 10 Valley. times. Yep. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. So now, sister, you walked in here on the last little part of the segment. I need you right now in, your, in this time to go on and, and let these people know what's your 
not struggle has been as a lupus survivor, but what's your strength has been? What is your strength being? Yeah. Besides, we all know the Lord and Jesus. No. <laughs> <laughs> my biggest strength um, dealing with my disease and just dealing with life in general has been my education. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, well, by the grace know. of God, I'm, I'm from Lock That's High good School. Good answer. Okay. And, you know, Tyrese graduated in 96. I graduated in 98. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have been blessed by MTA grants, WLCAC grants. Okay. We have one of the best composers in the world, which is Reggie Andrews. Because we can't take up a lot of time on those eight yes. minutes talking about no lupus. Because right. you got the glamour business right. and the design. Yeah, so, right. you, so do mix that so in together. There I, you go. I, uh. I think it has a lot to do <laughs> with, for this, me. She ain't no lupus survivor. This is a business woman. <laughs> <laughs> my biggest survivor is, I mean, my, my strength. biggest strength mm -hmm. is definitely my education. Yes. It's okay. definitely because I think can't nobody tell me what to Turn do. Turn that down. Mm -hmm. That's all you know, that's gonna be all on this microphone. I was wondering what that phone was. Just I... don't even go online. I'm sorry, Viana. No, Take your okay, thing baby. offline. Because I've been hearing that the whole time for the last 20 you, minutes. If you've been hearing it, that's good. Because, you know, I'm partially No, dead. I don't want to hear it. Because mine's playing. I need you to hear it. So, please, <laughs> right. on, I'll cut you off. So, I had to bang on Brian, y'all. My, okay. my biggest strength um, for me is my education. Um, okay. My, my upbringing. My father yes. and my mother are so supportive. That's right. Um, I'm the sick twin. I, so, since I've been five years old, I've always been ill. So, you did, did you have lupus at the young age of five? No, I had ear, nose, and throat issues. Oh, wow. So, that's why they, like, you know, the diagnoses were misread. When did you get diagnosed at what age? You sound rushing you which, now. Which, which when, What age with the lupus? With the lupus three years ago. Okay, Good. now, right quick, let's jump from that. Mm -hmm. Vlammer. Let people know about this Vlammer. Mm -hmm. You know what? Um, I did. And you got a certificate in your hand. You got around about yes, six more minutes. So you better get this I, got, I got a certificate in my <laughs> hand. Yeah, what's, what's that about? Okay. This girl, this is uh, for I me. got me too. I'm too. Okay. Shout out to you know, uh, oh, I'm missing something so, up here. But anyway, yeah. um, what is this, this about? This is the certificate of recognition for uh, Viana Rogers, which is myself, the CEO of okay. Glamour. And okay. what I did was... I, Who recognized you? The city of Los Angeles? The city of Los Angeles. Okay. And okay. what I did was... Um, I gave awards to over 30 participants that participated for uh, the JTC Aspire okay. Elementary School. And yes. what we did was we made it rain. Rich and Famous came out. Okay. We had the 49ers come out. Derek uh -huh. D. So you do a lot of different events where you guys go out and award. And these awards, well, this I'm cutting you off school? because we literally don't have a lot of time. Right. This and I need you to get it out. This is a particular school is Aspire Elementary, JTC. Okay. So right quick, because the point is, is that these certificates are, are recognition from the city. Right. right. So you're recognizing different people for their works in community service. Or, um, besides this school, who, who are, what other people have you recognized is what I'm trying to say. Well, for this particular award, I definitely... No, not uh, this particular. We know about the Aspire. Yeah. Have you been recognizing any other school? Oh, no. Okay, that's and why that's, you keep going down. Okay. Right. okay, that's okay. <laughs> it makes sense. I'm actually giving... Um, what I'll be doing is I'll be making it rain for these children every February. Sound like Birdman and Lil Wayne. <laughs> every February, every Black okay. History at the the last day of the month is called mm -hmm. Then, Now, and Later. Celebrate uh, Black History. Yes. And what I'll be doing is sponsoring the elementary school with all of these uh, celebrities from the industry. That's right. Making it rain with that fun. We're going to make it rain. That's we're right. Free DJs. We That's had cupcakes. I, know. Show, show yeah. nice I was trying to show my, my friends. Yeah, see, today. I didn't even have to do the box of movies. I had a guest do it for me. Show my press today. You know, but anyway, I had a Christian lady on earlier, so I was yeah. trying to be nice. Oh, you should be nice. I ain't cussing nothing. I ain't even showed my you know what? The, somebody did it for Today me. was the breast day. Yeah, well, I was trying to go. Well, you know, when we do today the... Today the breast day. When you, you know... Okay, that's another story. Yeah. <laughs> um, since I bought my certificate, you know, right. salutes to rebuild your laugh. You can't really see it because of the light. Uh, but definitely bam, rebuild your laugh. Nakia Brown. Yes, Prima thank Boston, you, Nikia. Carlene Corsi, yep. Ingram, okay. Street Wave has been recognized right. for the things we've done in the community. We got a caller, y'all calling in. Hey, who's Good. calling? Thank you, caller, for calling Global Street Wave. Global Street Wave, let me know your name. Hey, it's Nomadic Divine. How y'all doing? Hey, hey Queen, how you doing? Happening? This is Brian's artist right here. Brian, hey. go on. <laughs> Talk to us, girl. Hey. We, oh, hey, Nomadic, just... you got to be quick, baby, because Viana came uh, out of her no way. Yeah. I mean, out of no way. I mean, came <laughs> fast. No and yeah, I got to give her like right. three more minutes. She came sure. out of yeah. way. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yep. Right. Hey. It took five minutes to say that, though. Yep. Tell, uh, tell us what you want to say real quick. I was just calling to give a uh, shout-out for Screaming Bossy and Brian Williams. Okay. Uh, shout-out. Brian Williams for being the best manager ever. This man don't sleep. He always works hard. So sweet. Oh, uh, thank you so much. That's All right. right. Thank, thank you, Queen. Thank you. I appreciate you. Okay. All right.
Bye. All right. Bye. Thank you, Nikia, for sharing in groups right now. What's up, Pops? I see okay. y'all, but I can't give y'all no shots out on Facebook. Okay. So finish going, Breast Lady. I mean, Bianca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody, somebody gonna make sure I still keep it spicy up in here. Okay. So basically, oh, I'm sorry. Um, so anyway. I just consider myself a queen in the industry. I'm an image director. Which there you is, go. I was trying to get to that. Which mm -hmm. is definitely a made-up craft. Um, when I made an account, um, excuse me. When I first met my um, one of my accountants. Probably about six years ago, I was giving him all of my information of what I wanted to study and, and how I wanted to transition it to, uh -huh. you know, and mix all of the com combination. He said, you're going to have to make up your job title. Okay. Right. He said, you're going to have to go. You know, I ain't going to tell y'all where he told me to go. But, okay. I'm going there, and I can't tell everybody where I'm going. Go, okay. yeah, right, go. <laughs> and then what but happened? Of course, you went there. Okay. So, no, no, I ain't went there yet. Okay. Okay. But he said, before you get there, uh -huh. you figure out your job title. There you so, go. Um, That's right. At, at this point, it's image director, and I'm an uh -huh. image production director, and what I do is I control the styling effects, okay. the makeup effects, as well as whatever needs to be done for the production. I make sure it gets it done. Praise God for all of my, my entire team's. Stefan right. Stevenson, all of my models, uh -huh. Tiffany Denise, Maisha Lynn, Miko Williams from Pack Stereo, yeah. rapper Diesel, rapper Kid Cannon. Um, I mess with a Say lot. Say a name I don't, I don't like, and I'm gonna be like mute. The okay. boy, okay. I'm just playing. You know, but. Um, right. I, what I did was I wanted to make sure that I sponsored different artists in the community that wouldn't mm -hmm. that needed to slice their budget in half okay. by any means in half. So even and sum it up because I got two minutes left. So uh -huh. my message to all of the the participants or all the people uh -huh. who are suffering from any type of disease. Yes. Our biggest were we're survivors now. Yes. Right. Come on, go right. back to biggest, that. Right. Our biggest yeah. complex was before the diagnosis. That's right. If you're feeling like you ain't feeling good, you're not. Mm -hmm. Go to the doctor. Period. Go to there the doctor. Go. Get exactly. back to that. Come Let on. your family and friends know. I don't give a damn how y'all feeling about Tyrese and all that, but mm -hmm. cry for help. Right. Do it. Right. Somebody's right. listening. Somebody's yes. going to hear you, and somebody will take care of you, and it might yeah. just be me watching you. That's and right. And I might help you. And your strength right. was your education, which mm -hmm. is definitely great. You see, I try to read about lupus while well, I got here and read right. it with Kim. Okay. So, Kim, before yeah. you go, what is your strength mm -hmm. as you dealing with this uh, being a survivor of lupus? Right quick. Don't say it. Family support. Family support. Go. Get yes. your family support, y'all. Mm -hmm. Keep your strength. Right. We want to thank y'all again for tuning in to another thank Global Street you. Wave. I appreciate y'all listening to us all these times. We've been going strong for two years. Mm -hmm. One day soon, y'all going to see Bossy sitting on channel 9 and 7 or something, and Brian going to be running stuff in the background. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Salute so right. to Supreme huh. Entertainment, y'all. Thanks to Supreme Entertainment. Sure. Helping keep Global Street Wave alive. Salute so, yeah. to his artists. Say a shout out to your artists right quick, Brian. Shout out to my artist, Nomadic Divine. You know, she's one of the best artists I've ever worked with. And say the other one name. Just say the names. Tamika. Just 5 o'clock. Miraculous 100. And Jamila. Oh, and Jamila. Mm -hmm. And the blueprint. Y'all go look up Brian, mm -hmm. uh, Brian S. Williams on Instagram for that right. blueprint. Like us on Facebook and all that stuff. Right. And again, this last but not least, y'all check out the uh, Living Life by the Divine. Design. Living Life by Design. Say your website <laughs> one more time, Kim. www dot Kim K I M Denise D E N I S C Price Kim. like Price is Right <laughs> okay dot com and right. again y'all go to Amazon get that royalty because he, uh, royalty what was it royalty he sees me oh my God I'm sorry I messed up my lady's thing okay. Ro is that the farming name royalty that's how he sees me okay. that's it by Minister Renee Johnson y'all go check that out Global Street Wave y'all we about to sign up out of here we thank y'all again for tuning in. Love, peace, hair, grease. Love yourself. <laughs> peace. <All> right. <laughs>